Welcome to the Solid Fire demonstration, where we will show you just how easy it is to guarantee performance to all of your OpenStack workloads. If you were to examine the typical data center, you will most likely find islands of storage, each dedicated to running individual applications, databases, or workloads. But what if you could consolidate and run all of your applications in a single storage infrastructure while guaranteeing applications will always have the performance they need? With SolidFire, you can consolidate and run cloud-based orchestration solutions such as OpenStack, along with data and web applications, with peace of mind that guaranteed performance provides. With deep sender integrations, some of the largest OpenStack environments can manage all interactions with SolidFire storage, such as creating and cloning volumes, directly from OpenStack. So let's take a look at what you can do in OpenStack when you have the right storage. Logging into an active Red Hat OpenStack cloud, you will see all of the instances that make up the three workloads we are running on our Cisco-based Agile infrastructure. The first workload is utilizing a four-node MongoDB cluster supporting our web application's session store process. Using our Cinder integration, predefined QoS specs that set the min, max, and burst IOPS for the SolidFire storage volume are visible and adjustable in OpenStack, a unique feature only available with SolidFire. Based on its defined QoS settings, this cluster is performing as expected. Workload 2 uses a second, larger MongoDB cluster to store application user profiles, which is a heavy read operation. This workload's QoS setting should be sufficient, but we're experiencing unexpected read latency from the storage volume. Examining the volume shows that its current min, max, and burst QoS settings are not high enough to meet its performance demand. Luckily, we have defined multiple performance profiles. A quick browse shows there is a second QoS profile defined and available that would provide more than enough IOPS to our workload. Using SolidFire's OpenStack sender integration, an administrator can simply issue a retype command for the volume group and then the new min, max, and burst QoS settings will be immediately applied. A quick refresh of the SolidFire console will reflect the new IOPS settings taking place. Within seconds, the additional IOPS are allocated from the SolidFire Flash Array, and our read operations improve to acceptable levels. While the previous two workloads are simultaneously running, for workload 3, we will expand our LAMP stack instances for test dev purposes. The first step is to create 100 clones of our MySQL instances from a template. In a matter of a few seconds, all 100 instances are cloned and begin to boot up. At this point, OpenStack is communicating to the SolidFire All Flash array to allocate space needed for the new cloned instances. This all happens automatically through our sender integration. While the new instances are coming online, we roll out a second group of 100 MySQL instances to show that while new instances are being deployed and the cluster is experiencing a performance increase, the first workload's performance is not affected. From the largest enterprises to service providers, SolidFire's flexible architecture and quality of service control have been tested and proven in some of the world's most demanding data centers. So if your goal is to run all applications on a single storage platform with the ability to guarantee performance to each application, Visit www.solidfire.com/ai to find out more about SolidFire and agile infrastructure.